Hey guys, so today we are going to be taking a look at the Black Panther Funko Pop Target exclusive Glow in the Dark Eric Killmonger or Glow Panther. I don't know if that's not what they called it in the movie. They didn't really even have a name for it in the movie, but the suit was the, the Golden Jaguar Habit, I think it was called, or Hubbit. I'm not sure. Um, that That's where things get sort of south. But anyway, back to the video. Um, I picked this guy up at Target. I actually, I was just walking through Target. I wasn't even looking through, looking for Pops. I was just, and or anything collectible related. And I was just like, all right, I'll just look quick. And then I walked by and then, I don't know if you, you know, the, the like the standee, like on the, the aisles, the one that sort of sticks out, the Infinity War one, there was a line of Pops and like mostly Infinity War and Black Panther but just in the middle of it was him. And I was really surprised because honestly, I didn't think I was going to find him because I knew that he was super rare and he kind of came out a little bit ago. Um, but yeah, I found him. So now we're going to be taking a look at Eric. <laughs> Looking at the pop, um, you see it says pop right there. Black Panther, 279, the number, Star Seeker, Glow in the Dark. A picture of him there, Eric Lamont, Glow Panther, a few different language things down there. On the top, uh, another sort of image like that. Just the top of his head. And then on the side says, you know, Killmonger, pop, and all stuff down there. Um, also, better look at him. <laughs> Obviously, on the back you see a couple other figures in the wave of pops. That's pretty cool. Um, let me see, Eric Killmonger on the side, on the bottom, nothing much, so with that out of the way, let's take a look so at this here pop. is this bobblehead pop out of the box, and overall, I do really like this pop, I do have a couple issues on that, on this pop, but we'll touch in those later, um, but yeah, looking at him, I think it looks pretty good, all the details and stuff, um, one of my complaints though is some of like the little dots and stuff are painted sort of not perfect, like you see they're sort of off there, and stuff, um, like the lines are sort of off a little in some places but a lot of them look pretty good and all the details are good take a look at the chest there the armor if you didn't see black panther yet or even if you did this was one of black panther's suits um this was his second suit he had um his third or one of his suits he had three he had the one from civil war he had the one that he wore in black panther and then he had this one and this was also one of the sort of futuristic nanotech suits. Also, Iron Man used a suit like that in Infinity War. Not spoiler, just something cool. Also, if you haven't seen Infinity War, I suggest you do. It's a really good movie. I'm looking at the toes there. All the little dots all over him look good. See a spear. All the little wrappings and details on it. As pops go, this one's super detailed. See the other one there. See the head's a bobblehead. Probably could tell it already. <laughs> the eyes are gold and cool. Details. Um, back, nothing much. I, I don't know if there was little gold lines on there. But it's... I wouldn't be displaying him like that. Probably so. I don't really care. You could probably... I don't have the other Eric Killmonger pop. I don't know why I didn't really get any of the Black Panther pops. I, I don't know why, but I didn't. Um, you could probably maybe swap out the head. Because on the thing, but... Um, with the Star-Lord pop, the Toys R Us exclusive one, how did the masthead? Um, the neck was bigger than the original Star-Lord, so you couldn't swap it out and make it like the Chase version. Some people were trying to do that. Details on it, though. Um... So yeah, one more complaint I do have is sometimes, or sometimes when like his head sort of gets bobbly, he'll sort of fall over. But for the most part, he can stand up. Just sometimes he'll fall over. He's more back heavy than normal. Um, but yeah, now let's do some compared to the FI exclusive Iron Man Unmasked Pop. And if you want to check out a review of that, go look at my channel. I do have another review of that. So. If you want to check out that next to the cool. Iron Spider Pop, uh, which I also did a review on. Um, to find yeah, here cool. he is next to Potted Dancing. So Pop. I just tried to like charge him up under a light for a little bit and then go put him in a dark room, but it, I just the camera probably wouldn't pick it up and 
it just wouldn't work. So, but this guy is glow in the dark. Um, you probably know that because the glow in the dark sticker. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna wrap up my review. I think I really like this pop. If you want to see more review, uh, more videos about pops and stuff, go make sure to check out my channel and make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.